to hit someone with your vehicle, you pull over. A hit and run crashes total 20,000 each year in LA alone. Susan Hirasuna joins us live from North Hollywood to explain what's being done to bring that number down. Susan. Christine, Chief Charlie Beck recently declared this the year of traffic. Violent crime is down, so time now to focus on what some are calling an epidemic of hit and run crashes. Damien Kevitt is an avid cyclist. Even now, a year after a hit and run driver ran him down, left him with an amputated leg and scarred from multiple surgeries. I was in the hospital for four months, 11 surgeries, and in June I, I got back on the bicycle and I started, you know, just a few minutes at a time riding. The driver of the light colored van was never caught. More often than not, the case with hit and runs. There's a high probability that they'll never get caught because there's no resources devoted, or there's very little resources devoted to actually finding them. And if they are caught, in a large percentage of cases, even if their accident resulted in injury or sometimes even in death, they can sometimes walk away with only a $500 fine. According to the LAPD, there are 20,000 hit and run crashes every year. A fifth of them lead to injury or death. Already this year, there have been five fatal hit and runs, more than twice the number for the same period last year. And fatal hit and runs are hardly unique to L.A. This one in Montclair took the lives of two people. Los Angeles Assemblyman Mike Gatto wants to take a driver's license away from anyone who hits someone and doesn't stop. It shouldn't be like that. We should force drivers to stop, to do the right thing, and to make sure that that person's okay. We're not going to populate the jails with that. We're not going to do spend a lot of money with that. We're just going to take those people off the road and say, hey, you've got a time out, and you're not going to be driving if you can't exercise moral responsibility. So if the bill were to become law, a six-month license suspension for anyone that is convicted of hit and run, even for something as simple as a fender bender. Reporting live in North Hollywood, I'm Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11 News.